what we have learned in our previous class yes you have learned the uh, seventh table right yes now you are going to say the seventh table right i am going to write the answer here now you are going to say the seventh table right yes now 1 times 7 is how much 1 seven is 7 isn't it yes 2 times 7 is 14 right 2 times 7 is 14 then 3 times 7 is how much 21 right yes then 4 times 7 is 4 7 is 28 okay then 5 times 7 is how much 5 7 is 35 then 6 times 7 is 6 7 is how much yes 42 isn't it yes next 7 times 7 is 7 7 is 49 right yes next 8 times 7 is 56 yes then 9 times 7 is 63 right then 10 times 7 is how much 70 right yes now you know 7th table right now you know how to use that 7th day multiplication you have to use that 7th table right yes see find the you know what you are going to do find each product using above multiplication table of 7 now you are going to use the 7th table multiplication product now you are going to find the multiplication product right yes See, 7 the table, 7 and 4 into 7. 4 into 7, 7 times 4 is so how much? 1, 7 is 7, 2, 7 is so 14, 3, 7 is so 21, 4, 7 is so how much? 28, right? Yes. Understand? 28. Then, here, 9 times 7 is. 9 times 7 is so how much? 63, right? Yes. Next. Here you can see two digit number, right? Yes, first we are going to multiply these two numbers, right? So 7 times 1 is how much? 1 times 1 times 7 is how much? 7 only, right? Yes, 7. Then 7 times again 1, 7. 77 answer, right? Yes, now here 7 times 6. Say the 7 the table. 1, 7 is 7. 2, 7 is 14. 3, 7 is 21. 4 7 is 28, 5 7 is 35, 6 7 is 42, right? Yes. 42, right? Yes. Then here 7 times 8 is. See here 6 times 7 is 42. Then 7 7, 7 times 7 is how much? 49, right? Then 8 times 7 is 56, right? Yes. 56. Understand? Yes. Here now. First we are going to multiply 7 and 0. Okay. So 7 times 0. Any number multiplied by 0. What is the answer? Answer is 0. Right? 0 into any number also. What is the answer? 0 only. Right? Yes. 7 times 0 is 0. Then 7 times 1 is 7 only. Do you understand now? Yes. See here I am going to do some questions. For example, 12, 12, here we are going to use 7th table, okay, 7th table, yes. Now, 12 times 12 is 12, 12 times 12 is 12, what is the answer, 7 times 2, first we are going to multiply these two numbers, okay, 7 times 2 is 1, 7 is 7, 2 times, 2 times 7 is how much, 14, right, but 14 means, you should not write that 14 here, that 14 right, right side, then direct 4 here. So then this one, the tens place that you are, okay, here you are going to write tens place. Right? We understand. Next. Now, first one, one place is over. Now you are going to multiply in tens place, right? So, seven times one is how much? Seven only. After that, you have to add that value. Seven times one is seven plus that one. Seven plus one, how much? 8, isn't it? So the answer is how much? 84. Do you understand now? Yes, one more question. See here. 25 
multiply seventh table. Here also you are going to use seventh table. Okay. See first one place we are going to multiply. Seven times five. One seven is seven. Two seven is fourteen. Three seven is twenty-one. Four seven is twenty-eight. Five seven is thirty-five. Isn't it? So thirty-five I will write here. Thirty-five. But this five are going to cut and write here in one place. Five. Then this three are going to write here. Then carry over in tens place. Okay. So not write here. Here we have to write. But already completed this one, right? Now we are going to multiply these two numbers, right? Seven times two, right? Seven one seven is seven. Two seven is how much? Fourteen, isn't it? That fourteen plus three, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, isn't it? So you have to write the answer here, seventeen. So what is the answer? What is the product now we are getting? One hundred and seventy-five. Twenty-five into seven. The answer is one hundred and seventy. Do you understand now, children? Yes. Next, we are going to discuss about eighth table. Okay. See here, eighth table. Actually, this is mathematical fact. Okay. When seven candles stand having eight candles each, by repeated addition, we can show here how many candles. Sorry, seven. How much? When seven stands, how much? Seven. Okay. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Right. See here the answer is if you add a plus a plus a plus a plus a plus a plus a equal to what is the answer? Fifty six. Okay. So here the a how many times are there? Seven times, right? So seven times you can say seven times or seven eights. Seven eights are how much? Fifty six. See here how many? Uh, if you add a plus a plus a plus a plus if you add these numbers, what is the answer? Fifty-six. Instead of adding, we can use the multiplication table, right? So seven times eight. How much? Fifty-six. So here, how many candles are there? Fifty-six candles, right? Yes. Now we are going to learn the eighth table. Understand which table? Eighth table. See here, one times eight is how much? Eight. Then two times eight is how much? Sixteen. Then three times eight is a twenty-four. Four times eight is a thirty-two. Then five times eight is a forty. Six times eight is a forty-eight. Seven times eight is a how much? Fifty-six. Then eight times eight is a sixty-four. Nine times eight is a seventy-two. Then ten times eight is a eighty. Till here enough. Okay. To till ten, you should sure learn. Okay. Yes. So once again, one times eight is eight. Two times eight is sixteen. Then three times eight is how much? Twenty-four. Four times eight is thirty-two. Five times eight is how much? Forty. Then six times eight is forty-eight. Seven times eight is fifty-six. Eight times eight is sixty-four. Nine times eight is seventy-two. Ten times eight is eighty. Right? Do you understand, children? Yes. See here, in how we can see here some balls, okay? Some circles. Here eight circle. Here also eight. So here this is here eight. Here also eight. How many groups here? Two groups, right? So here you can get the answer if you add eight plus. Eight. Eight plus eight means we have to add eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So what is the answer? Sixteen. Instead of addition, adding we can do two times. Sorry. How many times? That how many groups here? Two groups, right? So two times. Two times here is all. Now how much? Sixteen. Do you understand? Two times eight. So this is the multiplication fact. Okay. How many times here? Yeah, how many groups are there? Two groups. If it is here, three groups. Okay. Here three groups. So three groups means what is the answer? Three group means three times. Three times eight is how much? Three times eight is how much? Twenty-four. Now you check the answer here. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 
17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Do you understand? This is the multiplication fact, right? Yes. Now we are going to do the multiplication. We are going to use the multiplication table. Okay, here. Okay, the first one. See the first question. Eight table, how many times we want to say? Five times, right? Yes. One eight is eight, two eights are sixteen, three eights are twenty-four, four eights are thirty-two, five eights are how much? Forty. Five eights are forty, right? Yes. Next. Four, how many times we want to say eight table? Four times we want to say, right? So one eight is eight, two eights are sixteen, three eights are twenty-four, four eights are thirty-two. So answer is thirty-two. Do you understand? Yes. Next. So here you can see eight times zero is zero. Then eight times one is eight. Also you can say eight table ten times. The eight times are eighty, isn't it? So answer is eighty. Okay. Here eight table seven times. Seven times say one eighty say two eights are sixteen. Three three eights are twenty four. Four eights are thirty two. Five eights are Forty six eights are forty eight. Seven eights are fifty six. Right? Yes. Yes. Now here eight table how many times? Nine times. Right? One eight is eight. Two eights are sixteen. Three eights are twenty four. Four eights are thirty two. Five eights are forty. Six eights are forty eight. Seven eights are fifty six. Eight eights are sixty four. Nine eights are seventy two. Nine eights are how much? Seventy-two. Okay. Here you can use eight. First, you are going to multiply these two numbers. Eight times two. Eight times two is how much? One eight is eight. Two eights are sixteen, right? But sixteen. Then six. There you are right. Then this one is in ten space. There you are. Okay. Then next, you are going to multiply this number and this number. Eight into one. Eight times one. Eight times one is eight only. Then you have to add that value. Eight. Eight plus one. How much? Nine ninety six, right, children? You see here, forty one into eight. Multiply this to number one eighty so much eight. Then eight times four is how much? Eight four is thirty two, right? Then we have after that no number, right? So we write it the number as it is thirty two. Thirty-two. Understand? For example, fifty into eight. Multiply eight zero. Eight times zero is any number multiplied by zero. What is the answer? Zero only, right? Yes. Eight zero is zero. Eight five is how much? Forty, right? Eight five is forty. Right. That is the answer. Do you understand? Yes. See, fill in the missing numbers. So four times dash equal to thirty-two. Four that uh, that means how many times it will come thirty-two? Eight times, right? Yes. Then seven also how many times fifty-six? Seven eights are fifty-six. Then nine times eights are how much? Eight table nine times will come. So eight nines are seventy two, right? Yes. Yes. Here three eights are twenty four. And three third table also you know, isn't it? If you know the third table, you can say twenty twenty four. How many times it is coming? Okay. Yes. Now here you are going to use. Yes. Multiply these two number. One eight is eight, right? One times eight is eight. Then eight times two is a. One eight is eight. Two times eight is a sixteen, right? Yes, sixteen. So one hundred and sixty-eight. Okay, fine. Next, eight times four. Eight times four is a how much? One eight is eight. Two eights are sixteen. Three eights are twenty-four. Four eights are thirty-two. Thirty-two, but 
2 and we want to try if it is you are getting the two digit number means you have to write dot should and write as it is okay then what you have to do at the right side then the one space you have to write the value then the tens place this 3 carry over here 3 right yes now one space is over now tens place you are going to multiply so 8 times one is a 8 one day. 8 plus 3 how much 8 9 10 11 this is it yes after that no number write it down as it is do you understand now yes so what now here 8 table 5 times when it is 8 2x are 16 3x are 24 4x are 32 5x are how much 40 so to digit number 40 so which number you want to write it here yes 0 right 0 so can i write it here then 4 carry over right yes understand yes now once it is over now we are going to multiply in tens place right 8 times 3 One eight is eight. Two eights are sixteen. Three eights are twenty-four. Twenty-four. Then you have to add that value. Twenty-four. Here four is there. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Right. Two hundred and eighty. Do you understand, children? Yes. Next. Nice. Last one. Eight times zero. Any number multiplied by zero? Zero only. So eight times five is how much? Eight five is one. One eight is eight. Two eights are sixteen. Three eights are twenty-four. Four eights are thirty-two. Five eights are fourteen. Right? Yes. So four hundred. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, children. I think I understand this concept. The multiplication table and sorry, multiplication table seven and eight. Right? Yes. Now what you are going to do? Your homework page number seventy-seven. There exercise five point two page number seventy seven exercise five point two please try to complete that homework page then if you have any doubt please contact me okay children we will see the next class ninth table right okay thank you children.